remember the quadratic, I gave you guys a vertex form. I said y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. To write the equation in this format, all you need to know is a, h, and k. Now, in your problem, I gave you what your vertex is. So if you guys remember, your vertex is represented by h comma k. Any point on the line, if you guys remember writing the equation of line, any point on the line can represent x and y. If I plug that information in, if I plug this information in um, into this formula, the only thing I don't know is a. Well, will it be possible for me to solve for a once I do that? Yes. So I have y, which is 5, equals a times x, which is 0, minus h squared plus or minus 7. Now I just need to simplify. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. I'll just show my work. Negative 2 squared is 4. Now I just add 7. So I have 12 equals 4a. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. 3 equals a. So now all I simply do is I plug back 3 in for a, introduce my h and my k, and then I just leave my x and y as part of my equation. So I'd have y equals 3 times um, x minus 2 squared minus 7. And that would be it. Anybody have any questions to that? Ask questions now. Um, the other thing is, what, that's vertex form. What if I asked you it for standard form? Now what you'd need to do, standard form remembers in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So you'd have to expand that. So it'd be y equals 3 times x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 7. Does everybody see what I did? I just did x minus 2 times x minus 2. I did it in my head. You might have to write it out. Notice x minus 2 squared is not x squared plus 4. right? You can't distribute. Then I would distribute the 3. And your final answer in standard form would be that. Just in case there was a question that was asking you to do that. <laughs>